Men forcing their way into a home with stun guns and duct tape demanding cash. Sound familiar? Well, that's because this is the second time it's happened in Leander within weeks of each other. Both home invasions happened in the Lakeline Ranch neighborhood. KXAN's Aaron Cargyle. They're live with the latest. Aaron. Good evening, Robert. These two attacks played out exactly the same way and were around the same time in the evening between 7 and 8 o'clock. And the two homes just a few doors down from each other here on Elkhorn Ranch Road. Those who live out here are extremely worried. These two men will strike again. Neighbors threw their arms around the mother and daughter who came face to face with two men on a mission Tuesday night. Yeah, I'm glad to see she's okay. I was really scared about her because I knew, I mean, I knew she was, you know, physically okay. I was just more worried about her mentally being okay and, you know, emotionally. This neighbor did not want to show her face for fear she'd be the next target. According to Leander Police, when someone answered this front door Tuesday night, two men with stun guns forced their way in and used duct tape to tie their hands together. They demanded cash and wanted to know where to find the safe. I'm, I'm almost at a loss of words. It really is just amazing if somebody can do that. But it's all too familiar for neighbors. The attacks appear to be identical to another home invasion seven weeks ago that happened just a few doors down. The family has since installed security cameras around the home. The mother who lives here told us off camera her 14-year-old son opened the front door and two men came in wearing ski masks demanding money. They knew her first name and even zapped her twice with a stun gun after she kept telling them they didn't have a safe. Neighbors say they tried to get answers from Leander police about what happened so they could better protect their families. And they were told me that since they didn't have a press release, they weren't allowed to say anything. But some have drawn their own conclusions. Speculation is they know the neighborhood or they're watching people's routines and we know that none of the husbands are dads were home when this happened at either place. Now, after that first home invasion in December, police released these two sketches of the men. Both are white and appeared to be in their 20s. Now, Leander Police did email us this brief statement this morning, but no one with the Leander Police Department has returned our phone calls or emails today to even tell us anything to pass along to the neighbors, offering any tips, safety tips, so they are able to protect their families. We were told the person who typically deals with media calls. It will be out of town for the next three days, and we'll have to wait until then to hear any more information. We're live in Leander tonight, Aaron Cargyle, KXAN News.